people love it around here. It's a, Do they? Yeah, it's a big popular thing around here. I had seen an article about bike trails way back in the 80s, and I thought, oh, how cool is that? <laughs> we met with the supervisors of different communities. Looking back, they really didn't know what a, what a Rails to Trails was, and they said, well, this has got to be a grassroots effort. It builds your community economically. It's brought businesses. When the trail first opened, in Houston, there was nothing there but a porta potty and a pile of dirt. Now there's a bed and breakfast there. It's just incredible the amount of people that come in to the to the city. They stay overnight for a couple nights. They come down to, to the restaurants downtown, and just you get to know them like family because a lot of them will repeat to come back the following year. Bringing people from Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, the state of Washington. Sunday, I was at the, at the trail. There was a couple there from Alaska. You know, you got families with kids that they'll get on their little tricycles and ride the trail for a little bit, but you got people that are in college, but a lot of retirees. In Ingemar, we have a 90-year-old man who gets out and rides every day, weather permitting, he rides to New Albany and back. I was skeptical, of, you know, I thought it, it wouldn't do any good, and, and it's been the best thing in the world for me. It brings people together, and, and even during COVID, people could come and get outside. We see the families out here with their little kids riding with their training wheels, and I mean, what a great joy that is, instead of being home in front of a computer. <laughs> the Whistle Stop at Ingemar is the hub of the community. I moved back to my home state of Mississippi, and I live right here in this little community. Trail was the primary motivation because number one on my list was to stay healthy. And I do about 100 miles a week and I'm 73 and take no drugs. Most people that get out and exercise, they take care of their bodies, they have respect for themselves, they have respect for other things. There are people even at the church that you can talk to that were, they were really against this when they were starting it. We're spending all this money, what good is it? and now they're big fans, <laughs> and they use it. I heard people saying, oh, there's gonna be thieving and all this negative stuff hasn't happened. I've heard zero incidents on the trail as far as any safety issues whatsoever. So these are the kind of people you want to come to your community? Absolutely, absolutely. And this trail here has benefited everywhere, everybody from us to New Albany down to Houston. If COVID didn't teach us anything, it, it taught us that we need people and you don't need to be shut off.